Amen. So this morning, I would like to encourage everybody, um, those who are here, even those who are in, uh, that are watching us online, that in everything that you are doing, uh, you must seek the counsel of the Lord, the divine counsel of the Lord. Amen. So as we are starting our service, we will ask the divine counsel of the Lord uh, in everything that we are doing in this church. We will ask the divine counsel of the Lord. Amen. Even in your life, you will seek the counsel divine, I mean the divine counsel of the Lord, whether it be in business, whether it be in your family, whether it be in your career, in whatever that you are doing, seek the divine counsel of the Lord. Amen. Amen. So we are praying to God this morning as we are starting this service, as we are ask, asking the divine counsel of the Lord, that the spirit of the Lord will take charge over everything that we are doing. Amen. Let's go ahead and pray this morning. Father God, as we are praying this morning, we thank you and we appreciate you, Lord, that you are on our side, that there is nothing that we can do. Every decision that we will take, we will ask the divine counsel of the Lord in our service, in our every department of this church. As we are praying this morning, Father God, we need your spirit to begin to lead us in the things uh, of God, in the things of the spirit, in the things uh, that will change our lives, that will change everything that we are doing this morning, Father God. We thank you. We appreciate you that you have given us the Holy Spirit to give us the courage, uh, to give us the power, oh my God, to take the, design, the, the, the decision that are uh, led by the spirit of the living God. Father, we thank you this morning. We appreciate you, Lord, as we are praying, Father God, that we will not rely in our sensual perceptions or a plausible credibility of evidence, but we will seek the divine counsel of the Lord in everything that we are doing. Oh, my God, we thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of the living God, this morning. We appreciate you, Father God. Oh, my Kaliba and Tolibra and Bando. I preketo to skaliva anto jakarika aparuske lentea. Zibregedea, liga doska, embro toshka, apa doska, liga dea, dembroska, ampa rukete. Zibro kotoska, ampa rikato, liga abarande, i blaka sukete, liga deja, ebre en toska, liga hando, e palakadaya, ebre getoska, teliko on toska, taliga abra ande jegedoska. Zibro kotoska, te brede de de dea, rika. Abada, e manduska liba ante shekete libra ante zekedea. We thank you, Father God, as we come before the presence of the mighty God this morning, Lord, that let your spirit fall afresh upon every person who is praying this morning as we seek the spirit of the living God to take charge, to take charge in our service, to take charge in our depart in every department of this church, to take charge in every uh, life of every person who is praying this morning in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father God, as we come before you this morning, as we surrender and commit this service to you, oh my Lord, we know that without your spirit, we know we know that without your presence, we cannot do anything. In the name of Jesus, Lika Barakatuska Libre and Teke Duska Ragata Baragade Imamantuska Liba Ante Bredegeduska Talibra Ante Jegelegedu. E manta capa ruske te liga anto tos jaga baraga de 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 reke doska talabra anto mantelia la zuge de ya ambro to koto jaga de re de 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 beleke doska impatu shaka parakata yanta liba anto skaliba ande reke do jada balaga de ya e brende de dos liga askamantu. Manta liba shakata. 
Oh, Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you this morning. We appreciate you, Father God. We honor you. We praise your name for you alone. Oh, my God, you are God. We thank you that you revealed to us. Uh, you revealed yourself to us, my God. You have promised us that, that you love us unconditionally. We thank you that as we go, as we live, we know that your spirit is by your side, our side. As you have said, uh, if I be for you, who can be against us? We believe and we trust that every promise that you have made it. It is yes. Oh my God, this morning in the name of Jesus. Rika pata liga asoli kehen ya mande ya rika nde liga atabaru kete. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Father God. As we are starting our service, we thank you. We need your presence in this place. We need your power. We need your wisdom. We need your knowledge and understanding how things work in the spirit, also in the physical, that everything that we are doing, Father God, we know that your hand is upon it. In the name of Jesus, oh my God, as I pray this morning, Lord, every person that is praying, Father God, let the spirit of God fall fresh upon their lives. Marika Paracata Lege Dosco Brante Dosha da 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 barigedia. E mazuke telebante Riga Batala Katai. Jekete kete kete. We thank you, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. We are still praying. I feel like some people now they are not they are not into a prayer this morning, and uh, <laughs> I don't know what happened this morning. <laughs> What's happening to somebody this morning? We are still gonna pray here. Amen. Amen. We are still praying. We, we we haven't started yet. We are still praying. Amen. Amen. Are you encouraged within yourself that we are going to pray this morning? Amen. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this morning. Uh, we, uh, we're we going to be praying. Now we are, we, we are praying that um, we are breaking every cycle that is happening in somebody's life this morning. Amen. Amen. You know, there are some things that are happening in people's life uh, as a cycle. Uh, sometimes it's, uh, you know, essential activities that are, are still uh, haunting you, that, are, that you find yourself walking in those things. Hallelujah. Amen. So we are praying that every cycle that you, that, 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 that you have detected in your life, that you don't want to see it to, uh, happening in your life, we are going to break it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Whether it be a, a, a premature uh, death, we are breaking it. Amen. Whether it's struggle or strife, depression, whatever case might be, we are breaking it this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are breaking every cycle that you don't like in your life. Amen. amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. amen. Are you ready to break those cycles? Ah, oh, I can hear you. Are you ready to break the cycles in your life? Amen. Okay, open your mouths and pray. Father God, as we are here before the presence of God with your people, any cycle that they find themselves going in, repeating in the same cycle, we are breaking in the name that's above every name, that anything that has been uh, a, a problem in their lives, we are breaking it. Every cycle of struggle, every cycle of premature death, every cycle of struggle and, and, and toiling, we are breaking it in the name of Jesus. Anything that is not of God, every sensory activities upon their lives, we are breaking it this morning in the name of Jesus by the spirit of the mighty God upon somebody's life this morning. Rakataya, 
Mantuska Taparuya, Libre Getuska, Yapalantuska Aparuya, Rakapataya, Rekepetea, Rakapataya, Ratapalakataya, Yapakatarakatuya, Imbre Gete Perocoto Paria, Ziprente Likapa, Jacapatarakata, Reketeketea, Mata Paracatoya, O Prakapataya, we break every limitation in somebody's life this morning. We break every limitation in somebody's life. Ya paruska parakata ratatatatatatata e peketu e mantuska pa ya palikata ya patakata we speak an open door in somebody's life, in somebody's business, in somebody's family, in somebody's children, in somebody's Career. Oh my God, Rakakataya, Retetetea, Rokokokokokotakapatakata, Yamantus Kapalikaha, Yetelika to Kaparakatakatoshkapate, Iparuskete, Retetea, Mantutuya, Zebra Katalabaya, Lika Pataya, Jakata Kataya, we impact the desire for the things of God. We impact the desire to worship you, Father God. We impact the desire to seek more of you. Libro Otuska in Toto Shaka to Keteke Takata, Yepekete Rakataya, Zukla Kata Manto Kata Rakata, Yepapa Parakata, Emanta Lipa Shakataya. Every cycle is broken, every cycle in somebody's life is broken. In the name of Jesus, in the name of the mighty God, Mantulika Aparus. Kata, Rakapala Kataya, Rapala Kataya, Rekete, take a take a take a tire, Taka 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 Taya, Ralakata Parakataya, Yepetekele Petuska, Palakata 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 Parakata Parak, Yatarakatus Katalikate, Yamantusha Kataparu, Yepeleketuska Parakata, Ratataya, 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 Rekete, Rekete. Reketea, 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 reketea. Jalakatuya, lakata parukata pa, lakata kata kata kata. Tepete ke toko toko taka para kata pa taka 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 Take it, 
Oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. We praise your name this morning, Father God. Manta Liba has commanded a blessing to him. Thank you, Jesus. We are still praying, Chant. We are still praying, Saint. One last, one last prayer point. Um, I want everybody who is here whether online, just to pray one thing, just one thing, just one thing in your heart, just one thing. I don't know what it is, but one thing. Just pray for that thing. Amen, church. Amen. Hallelujah, church. Amen. We are still in the mood of the prayer. Let's just pray. One thing, I don't know what it is. I don't have a prayer point for you. You know what's going on with your, with your life. Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Let's go ahead and pray. 
Oh, Father God, Makla Patoska Parika Ante Prente Toja Kazi Kete Epe Kaito Kalika Apakalati Kemando Zipre Vedushka Tutalika Ankuta Pariske Epre Ketoshka Parakuta Yalapate Alapantoska Lika Antuya Zipro Kotoska. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Every person that is praying, Lord, touch their heart, touch their heart, touch their heart touch their heart that thing that they are praying for oh my god touch it touch it touch it touch it touch it touch it by the power of the spirit of the living god e paraka to la mante ji prekete plaka tu elantu ze delika antaka parai thank you jesus thank you spirit of the living god in jesus name we pray in jesus name we pray in jesus name we pray Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are still praying. Amen. Amen. We are still praying. Amen. Amen. We are going to read from the book of uh, John chapter 1, uh, verse 5. I'll start from verse 4. It says, in him was life, and the life was the light of man. Then verse 5 says, the light shines in darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Meaning the light shineth upon darkness and darkness could not comprehend it. So today I want us to pray that Lord may your light shine upon my life. May your light shine upon my spirit. May your life shine upon my destiny, my ministry, my visions. May your life shine upon my family, my seed, my children. May your light shine upon this ministry. May your light shine upon each and everyone who's at home, who's watching from work, who's watching from wherever you are. Let the light of God shine upon all areas of your life. Let us pray. Le make a dosia, le bracadosia at the petensia, le macadosia at the pesia at the padosia academia, racatasia at him, racatasia at him, ye ketesia at the pacatosia at him, le macatosia at the petosia. Father, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus upon each and every soul, upon each and every one watching, upon each and every one who's here in all areas of their lives, Lord. May your light shine, may your light shine may your light shine li pakata sia kate pekete sia ka rakata sia kate rakata sia kate ye kekete kete ye kekete kete i pakato sha ate pekete sia kate matalia gladima matalia gladima ye kekete kete pe ye kekete kete la prasia ate pakato sha ate pe ye mente gladipa do ye mente gladipa do i kakoto kate kapaka kate kapaka Katosha, <laughs> Le bracatosha ate pacacate pecake, ya pacatensia ate pa, shalepe etensia ate pa, shakata petesia, le bracatosia, le bracatosia, le bracatosia, ya cata pecetesia, le mensia ate petosia cate pa, le brasia ate petesia, let there be light upon us today, let there be light upon us today. Ya katasia katepe, shale peketesia, shale peketesia, shala katasia katepe kekete, ripa katasia, ripa katasia, ripa katasia, ye kete ke baka kate baka kate pekete kete, shatasia kate bata, repente gletenia, ripa tasia ate peketoshe, mantali brato shakate pakate, repekete kete pekete, la pante ete pe. 
Dushade, Dikla Katasia Katipato, Manta Libra, Dosia Katipata, Ye Pegate, Gate, 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 Deepa Katasia Kate Pegate, Yakatasia Kate, Yakakata Kata Kate Pegate, De Bensia Ade Bedusha Ade Bede, Rakatasia Ade Bedusha Ade, Le Pegatasia Katania, Ye Pegatensia, Ye Pegatensia, La Prasia Ade Bedusha Kate Bede, Le Pegatosha Ade Bedosia Ade Pa, Sale Pegle Deepa Dosia, Mantakla Deepa Dosia Ademi, La Prasia Ade Bede. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Let us go to the book of Isaiah, chapter 6, verse 1. It says, In the year, in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and the train of his robe covered the temple. This is the prophet Isaiah. Okay. This is the prophet Isaiah. He said, in the year that King Uzziah died, he also saw the Lord. Today I want us to come to a point of prayer. There is that situation that becomes King Uzziah. That even when the light of God is shining, the situation is there. You can't see the light. So now let, we want us to pray that every King Uzziah in your life, be, 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 be it it's in your finances, it's in your family, wherever you are at home, every King Uzziah address him right now. You must die that you see, uh, we may see the Lord. Every King Uzziah, it can be a person, it can be a personality, it can be a situation. Let's come to a point of prayer right now in agreement that every king Uzziah today is today we are seeing the Lord let us pray Makatosia ate peketesia ate pa shalebe ete glati pa atosia di pasia ate pa katasia le mekatosia ate metesia di prasia ate pa dusha ate be le mekatosia ate pa dasha ate pa li prakatasia li prakatasia li prakatasia Every king who's in our lives, le brake de begede sha de ba, yakakata kati pa kakata kata, rakakata kati pa kakata kata, japa de gede le meke dosia de ba do, de brete a de ba dusha, mantakle de pe de gede gede, ye pa kata si a kade, sa de begede si a de be dosha a de be, i kakata kata, i kakata kata. Ikakata kata, shapa kate peke teke te peke te teke te teke te. Father, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Every King Uzziah, in every area of my our lives, receive the fire of God. Tipa Katasia, Rakatasia at the Badosha at the Meatoria, Le Mencia at the Bedosha, Libra Katosia Ka, Libra Katosia Ka, Yakakata Katipa Kakata Katipa Kakata, Sebensia at the Bedusha at area, La Pasia at the Patasia, Tebensia at the Madosia at the Bedesia, Tipasia at the Bedosha at the Bede, Rakatasia at the Bede, Rebensia at the Bedosha at the Bedaria, Libra. Ate Pedosia, Yakatasia Ate Pete, Le Mete de Pedosia Ate Pa, Reketesia Ate Petesia. Father, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Le Mekatosia, Le Mekatosia, Le Prasia Ate Patosia Ate Peteria Latima, Manta Lati Patosia Cal. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. 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 We are still praying. Amen. 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 Let's surrender our lives unto God right now. Amen. Let's surrender the service unto God. Amen. Let's surrender each and every person who's at home, everything that is that, that your destiny, everything that concerns you right now. Surrender and commit it to God. 
Remember, anything that we don't commit to God is fit for destruction by the devil. So let's commit every aspect of your life, the week, this service, and each and every one in your family, commit them to God. Amen. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we pray. We surrender our lives, our souls, our bodies, our spirits, everything that concerns us, Lord, we commit it unto you. We surrender this service unto you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we surrender our lives unto you. We surrender, Father, anyone who's watching online unto you. Each and every situation in our lives, we commit it and we surrender it unto you. Our children, our seed, our destinies, our future, we surrender, Lord, unto you. Katusia de Bedoria Gladima, Mente Gladima Dosia de Bedosia. Ya katasia kade bedosia, bedensia klode bedosia kade, le makadosia ade bedosia kade, limbro kodonsia ade bedosia, daglante ade bedosia klade bedosia, libra kadonsia ade bedosia ka, laklatasia kadi bedosia kade be, le mente klade bedosia kadi mahasia kade, libra kadosia kadenia, libra kadosia kadenia. Father, we bless your holy name. We worship you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for what you're about to do in this place. We commit this service unto you. We commit everyone unto you, Lord. Mantalia glade bedosha adepa. Ye ketesia kati batoria kadenia. Le mekedosia kadepa. Re ketesia glade bedosia kade. Manta glate peketeria. Ye be ente glate pa dosia. Saliba adensia katepa. Ya katasia kade bedosha. De bens ete glodima adoria kade. Ya katasia glade ba dosia ka zebensia glade ba dosia kademe hasia ka. In Jesus name we have prayed. In Jesus name we have prayed. In Jesus name we have prayed. Welcome to our Sunday service, everybody. Amen. We welcome everybody who's here. We welcome everybody online. Amen. Can we stay tuned as the service proceed? Amen. We would like to welcome the apostle in front. May we show by appreciation by clapping our hands in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise God. We want to bless God so much today. Amen. Amen. I, I believe that God is doing uh, great things in our lives. Praise God. Um, we are going to just get to a moment where we are going to pray. Um, we have been being led in prayer. And I believe as you have been praying, God has been doing something in your life. One of the things I always say about prayer is most of the times when you pray, you might not see the result of what you are praying for immediately. But something will be happening in the spirit. It is only some time later that sometimes you start seeing, oh, the prayers I prayed that time, these are the results. The prayers I pray that moment, these are the results. Praise God. God is a faithful God. Hallelujah. Look at your and say, God is a faithful God. Look at your and say, God is a faithful God. Hallelujah. So we are just going to get into a moment where we are going to pray. Praise God. I want you to pray for today's service. I want you to pray that God comes to a place where he shows himself to be faithful. Praise God. That today may not just be an ordinary day, Amen. but you come out of the place with something tangible. Amen. Praise God. Amen. It, it is like when you read your Bible, the Bible speaks about Hannah. The Bible says every year Hannah was going to Shiloh. But she, was, she remained what? Barren. But there is a time she went to Shiloh and she made up her mind. I cannot leave this place the same way I came. Amen. So it means there are times when people come to the house of God and the presence of God with the same attitude. And you wonder why there are no tangible results. 
that okay in people's lives. So we are going to pray. God, give me that attitude that when I enter your presence, I'm not entering with a familiar mindset, but I have to come out with something. Praise God. Praise God. Say, my father, my maker, as I begin to pray, may you give me the grace. May you give me the attitude that when I enter into your presence, I'm expecting for change. I'm expecting for tangible results. I'm expecting for, 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 for answered prayers. That I will not enter your presence with just a common attitude. But answer me as I enter your presence. Just open up your mouth and begin to pray somebody. Open up your mouth and begin to pray. Open up your mouth, begin to pray, begin to pray. Ika baras etom palita, zaze vande katom palitaka. Ika baba baba bua katom baris atom baras etom belege de buras katuaba. Oh God, you are faithful. We thank you and we bless your name because you are God. Mande re konta las epaya. O jamande katombaris atomba lakatai. Isande katamberes katemalita. Iamando kasambre katombala. Rade de 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 duabara de kapala. Imaribidi biande marable katombaradaka. Thank you, Mary God. We bless your name, Mary God. Our lives shall not remain the same. Mary God, we know that you love us. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have an everlasting life. We thank you and we bless your name. Mary Father, we decree and declare in the mighty name and the blood of Jesus that your mighty grace, your mighty anointing, your mighty power is touching us. It, we shall not remain the same. We shall not remain the same. We say, take all over, oh Lord, in the name and the blood of Jesus, Marelele Marala Karila Mande Katoa, Misambre Katain Bereda Katai, La Marande Katamberis Atomba Lara Ruruske Paralera, Riendo Ramble Caros Atolama, Misambre Kalara Riando, Mambrele Caruria Roscala Mande Kai, Shande Katalaba. Oh God, it is a season. We are in the time and the season. The Bible says the time is coming and the time has come that the true worshippers shall worship him in truth and in spirit. We are in those days that were declared by Joel that in the last days I will pour out my spirit upon your sons and daughters. Lord, we pray in the name and the blood of Jesus. We are not coming out the same. We thank you, Lord, that you may envelop us. Every prayer we have prayed, Lord, we thank you for answered prayers in the mighty name and the blood of Jesus. You are God and apart from you there is no other. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. We bless your name, mighty God. I just want you to lift up your hands before God in adoration. Praise God. I just want you to lift up your hands before God in adoration. Lifting up your hands is a sign of surrender. Praise God. Praise God. We're just get going to get into a, just a lighter moment of just worshiping God. Praise God. I want you to open up your heart. Yesterday when we were speaking, we said the Holy Spirit just wants you to open his, your heart. Praise God. The Holy Spirit just wants you to open your heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Most of the times what hinders us from enjoying the fruits of God is that our hearts are closed. You know, when, when we come from different places, we when we come from home, there are situations that we come with. It is when we come to the house of God that you have to, you have to get to a place where you throw away those burdens. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Where you have to throw away those burdens. So we are going to get into a moment where we are going to worship God. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Just lift up your hands. We give you 
glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are the Messiah. You are wonderful. You are the Messiah. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are the Messiah. You are wonderful. You are the Messiah. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are the Messiah. You are wonderful. You are the Messiah. We give you glory. and glorified be thy name. Lord, we know that you are mighty God. We know that you are the God who is and is to come. Lord, you are wonderful and we know you are our Messiah. We pray, mighty God, that may your love fill our hearts in the name and the blood of Jesus. The Bible says, for we ought not how to pray, but the Spirit interceded for us with groanings that cannot be uttered. Thank you, Spirit of the living God, for showing us the way. Thank you, Spirit of the living God, for doing what no man can do in our lives. In Jesus' name, God bless you. God be with you. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, Amen. the Lord God, the Lord God loves, you. loves you. The Lord God, the Lord God loves you. It is very few people that understand the love of God. Amen. Amen. I want you to repeat it again to them and say, neighbor, neighbor. The, Lord the Lord God loves you. Loves you. The, Lord the Lord God loves you. Loves Praise you. God. Amen. Hallelujah. You can be seated if you can. Praise God. You can be seated if you can. Hallelujah. We, we have been talking about the immortal life, praise God. And we have been explaining on, we have been explaining on the power, the authority, and what a believer has. Hallelujah. 
we have been explaining on the anointing and the grace that a believer carries. Praise God. And today we are going to get into a moment or a place where we are going to be speaking on the authority that many believers have neglected or the authority that many believers have, um, have gotten to a place where they have, um, all right, someone is looking for a pen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So we want to go to the beginning of the word. Let's go to the book of Genesis chapter number one. Genesis chapter number one. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter number one. Praise God. Are you ready? Are you there? If you are not there, shout, wait for me. In destiny, there's no waiting for each other. <laughs> that is home. <laughs> Hallelujah. In the beginning, God Elohim created the heavens and the earth. By forming from nothing the heavens and the earth. Praise God. Amen. By forming from what? From nothing. The earth was formless and void. Or a waste and emptiness and darkness was upon the face of the deep. pre ocean that covered the unformed earth and the spirit of God was moving. Say moving. Say hovering. Say brooding upon the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light and there was light. Let there be light and there was light. Did you know the fastest thing in this world, it is light. The, the, the only material, light cannot be an object because you can't touch it. It is light. It is the fastest. The moment you switch on the light in your house, the illumination that comes in your house, the way it is very swift, you know that you are dealing with light. I hear what I'm saying. And one of the things about light is it is hard to fight light. When it is available, you need extra energy to cover it. You might cover it. If there is a space, it will find a way to penetrate and show that I am here. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. Oh, I believe that is why Jesus says you are the light of the world. They will not cover you in the name of Jesus. Amen. They will not cover your destiny in the name of Jesus. They might try to tarnish your name, speak bad about you, cover your potential, but they can't cover it because there will always be a weakness where you come out and say, I am here. Am I communicating to somebody here? So when God was creating, the Bible says that God came to a place when he was creating, there was, the Bible says that he had created the earth and he had created it out of nothing. You have to understand the power in God that God has ability to bring things to existence and the way he brings them is he creates things out of nothing. So the Bible says God came to a place where he created the earth. And in creating the earth, he had to bring whatever he wanted out of what was called nothing. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That is what differentiates God from men. Men creates things out of a certain foundation. But when God creates things, whatever is in his mind is an idea. He makes sure that it comes to a place where it manifests even if the conditions of where he's creating are not conducive. Oh, somebody, you are not hearing me. So the Bible declares that there was formless darkness. The two words that are used in Hebrew is bohu and tohu, which means emptiness, which means there was gross darkness. There was nothing. I love the word when the Bible says formless. There was no form. Many people, what they build in this life, because they are humans, they build on structures that were already made. 
When people do business, you understand that there are what are called business models. There are structures that are already made. But God had to form out of nothing. Out of nothing. God had to form out of nothing. And the Bible says that when God was creating and God said, uh, let there be light. But before light was made available, the Bible says the spirit of the Lord was brooding upon the face of the waters. Praise God. Amen. The spirit of the Lord was brooding upon the face of the waters. Amen. What is the spirit doing? Brooding. What is brooding? If you have ever seen a chicken, if you grew up where we grew up, when a chicken has laid eggs, there is a way it will sit on the eggs until they hatch. That is the word brooding. That is the same word that is called incubation. Am I communicating to somebody here? Am I communicating to somebody here? That is the same word incubation. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Are you hearing what I'm saying? So, when God said, let there be light, the spirit, which is the creative part of God, produced light. And I love what the Bible says. The Bible declares when you read in John 1, the Bible says, and light came out of darkness. And the darkness could not comprehend it. Light did not appear from somewhere else. Out of the situation that was formless, Oyaka, out of the situation that was formless, the light was brought forth and it manifested. Amen. If there are no problems, there can be solutions. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. Am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. That is why you realize that every time when you read your Bible, every time when a problem would appear, God would not send an angel. God would send a man. And when God would send a man, the man who would be sent would come with what I'm going to be speaking about today. And many people have neglected that strength they have. That is why we have believers that are full of uh, of knowledge, believers that when they dress you feel heavenly, but you wonder why they live a life of defeat and the enemy is dealing with them. I spoke to us that you need spiritual intelligence. It's not an issue of just doing things because everybody is doing them spiritually. You need intelligence. I hear what I'm saying. Because the spirit realm is not just when people hear spirits, they think ah, it's things that just happen. No, there is need for intelligence. There are contracts in the spirit. Some people have signed contracts and it was later this, this. Oh, this contract was not favorable. Intelligence. <laughs> intelligence. Am I communicating to somebody here? Am I communicating to somebody here? I spoke about Hannah when I was starting. When Hannah went to God, she saw that she was barren. And the Bible says when she went before the throne room of God, Hannah prayed a prayer. Hannah said, God, I know that you don't have a prophet. Because when you read the previous scripture, the Bible says in the days of Eli, the word of God was rare. So God was looking for a vessel to use. And Hannah was looking for a child. And Hannah said, God, Give me a son and I'll give you a prophet. She knew that even if I will give Samuel to God, which is a seed, my womb will still be open for seven more children. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Intelligence. I hear what I'm saying. Amen. I hear what I'm saying. Amen. So the spirit was brooding upon the face of the deep. And the Bible says, and God said, let there be light. What God did, he released words into the Holy Spirit, who is the womb of the Spirit. Oh God. God did not create using materials that are tangible. When the Bible says he created something out of nothing, it was words spoken into the right womb. 
of the Spirit. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And the Holy Spirit was now able to bring that word into manifestation. And remember what I love about the Holy Spirit. There was no process of the growing of the pregnancy. Oh, God. So when Apostle Paul said, when Apostle Paul said, the seed was planted in you. The same word used for word in Greek used for seed in Greek, is the same word that they use for spermatozoa in Greek. So when the word is spoken, it's not just a word. It has to germinate, manifest, until it brings a fetus. And you nurture it. Until it comes to a place that that, that, that very something you have given birth to will begin to take care of you. I hear what I'm saying. Amen. I hear what I'm saying. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. So when you read your Bible, in the book of Proverbs, chapter 18, verse 21, the Bible says, death and life lies in the power of the tongue, and those that want it shall eat the fruit of it. So what Solomon was trying to tell us there in the book of, in the book of, uh, what Solomon was trying to tell us there in the book of Proverbs, he said death and life lies in the power of the tongue. He's explaining to believers that this thing that is called death is not normal. This thing that is called life, yes, it is not normal. But what holds the balance of death and life, it is the confessions of a man. What holds the balance between life and death, it is what men utters. It means if a person utters death, the enemy is able to ride on your words and make those words to become manifest. Am I communicating to somebody here? I said, am I communicating to somebody here? Many people have died because there are people that declared words of death over their lives and they never came to a place where they spoke life into their lives. Am I communicating to somebody here? Death and life lies in the power of the tongue and those that want it shall eat the fruit of it. Why the fruit? Because when words are spoken, they become a seed. They have to germinate until they are a fruit. When the Bible says you shall eat the fruit of your mouth, the Bible is trying to tell you that when men speak, they are sowing, so they are sowing seeds in the spirit. Every word the man speaks it will come to pass. Words are like prophecy. You can kill the prophet, but you can't kill the prophecy. Am I communicating to somebody here? I said, am I communicating to somebody here? Many people have lived a life where they have damaged their destinies before they arrived. They have damaged their future before they arrived. Why? Because they spoke negative things. They said, I will never come to a place where I will manifest this kind of a life. They said, I will never come to a place where my life can become better. Little did they know. They are speaking those words and there is a womb of the spirit. The enemy says, Take those words. Let's incubate them. We will not fight them according to our devices. We will fight them with their words. Why? Because the enemy understands that you are a little God. If God created by words, you have authority and power to create things. Am I communicating to somebody here? When you read your Bible in Hebrews chapter number 11 verse 3. In Hebrews 11 verse 3, the Bible says, By faith we believe that the worlds were framed by the word. We believe by faith that the world is framed by the word. What is the Bible trying to communicate? This world we are talking about, it was metamorphosed by the word. It was words that were spoken and they framed the word. A frame means a structure that whatever is to be comes out of what was spoken. What is the Bible trying to communicate to us? There is a way a believer that when you see your life, that my life is not what I was praying for. My life, it is not what I wished for. There is a dimension you can reach where you can reframe your life. Am I communicating to somebody here? I said, am I communicating to somebody here? Most of the times, this is the aggressive part of life. This is the aggressive part of spirituality. Sometimes you don't need to be noisy. Sometimes you don't need to be loud. You close yourself. You begin to speak to your life. Body, I speak 
to you. No disease can enter. You begin to speak to your future as I enter into 2023. Lord, I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost, businesses are waiting for me. I speak by prophecy into my new year. By the power of the Holy Ghost, doors are opening for me. Before you arrive, you are wondering what is happening. The Bible says, hmm. I will send forth my word. It shall make crooked paths straight. What is God trying to say? I will send the word into the future. There are things that are not in order. I will be able to make them to be in order. Am I communicating to somebody here? There is a woman in the Bible. The woman with the issue of blood. The Bible declares she heard that Jesus was coming into the city. And the Bible says the woman said, if I touch the hem of the God of Jesus. Hear me and hear me very well. She did not know or neither was she told that the miracle was at the him. But what did she do? She sent words into the future that when I touch, let that be my connection. There are many people that were touching on Jesus. There were many people that were connecting on Jesus. But she said my own miracle will not be like everybody else. My miracle shall be different. I shall touch and I shall receive. Many were touching, but she had to predict her own future. Hear me. I love the words of Jephthah when he said to his brothers, when I saw that you could not help me, I put my life in my own hands. There is a time you need to come to a place where you defend your destiny with your words. There is a time you need to come to a place where you defend your dignity with your words. There is a time you need to come to life where you defend your family with your words. The enemy, one of the things he desires is to bring you to a place where he controls your life. Is to bring you to a place where he controls your destiny. Bring you to a place where you, you try everything you can and you wonder why are things not moving? He's dealing with you. Yeah. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. I said praise God. Amen. I said praise God. Amen. I said praise God. Amen. Words are powerful. They control the universe. A case a curse is a word spoken into a womb of the spirit. That is why when a person is cursed and they are told you will not get married. That case will not stop them from being proposed. They will be proposed. I'm telling you. And the case will not be activated. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. It is only at the place when the guy who say, I think I want to marry you. Hey, Allah, Barus, Etoma, Ekoba. You wonder. He told you I want to marry you yesterday. He woke up a different man. Am I communicating to somebody here? I said, am I communicating to somebody here? I said, am I communicating to somebody here? Praise God. Praise God, somebody. He slept a different man. He woke up a different man. <laughs> Am I communicating? Amen. If a person has been cursed and they are told, you will not amount to anything in life. Hear me, people that have been told those words, they've handled millions. That, that you own, that you are waking and nothing is coming. No, there is no case over your life. <laughs> they were told, you will not amount to anything. They will handle millions. But at the point when you when they really want to enjoy it. <sighs> the enemy would have dealt with their health. The enemy would have dealt with their health. Praise God. Amen. And you wonder, you look at a person, you're saying, what's happening? We thought by this time you should be enjoying wealth. What's happening? The enemy has dealt with them. Words were spoken in the atmosphere. And it only manifests when that time to enjoy has come. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. The essence of altars is not building structures. It is the word spoken when a sacrifice has been said. Those words can never die. Amen. What carries things in the spirit are words. Words are like wings. 
If right now you start from today and every day you are confessing three times a day, I will become prosperous. Every day you are opening up your mouth, you are confessing, I will become prosperous. I will check you, I will check you, and I will check you when you are now in the sixth month. The more you are speaking, things are aligning themselves in the spirit. Hear me! There is a point where your words cannot be resisted when there is persistence. Am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. Am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. But the problem with many people is that we get to be too much relaxed. We are not persistent when it comes to our prayer life. We are not persistent when it comes to what we desire. We are not persistent when it comes to what we want to see manifesting in our lives. So when you read your Bible, the Bible will tell us about a man called Moses. When you read your Bible in the book of Numbers chapter number 20 verse 8, 20 verse 8, the Bible says Moses came to a place when the children of Israel, they were crying for water. They were saying we need water except we die in the wilderness. The Bible says, God said to Moses, I want you to speak to the rock. Hear me, nature hears the power of words. Speak to the rock. Water will come out. That was the declaration of God. Child of God. I want you to understand one of the things believers of our days have neglected. It is the power of words. What makes a person to be healed? A word spoken. Am I communicating to somebody here? When you are said be healed, you start seeing your life getting back to normal. Your body getting back to normal. It is words. What cast out a demon? A word spoken. Okay, now leave that body in the name of Jesus. The words you go to the zenith of the problem. Demons can hear the word. Am I communicating to somebody? When Jesus arrived at Legion, the Bible says that demon begged him, do not cast us into condemnation. Cast us into the ship. They understood. If a man of God can speak words, somebody say, I'm a man of God. If somebody born of God can speak words, they, they carry the spirit of God. They are begged up by the Holy Ghost and by the power of God. There is no way angels cannot react and defend the word. The word is powerful. That's why the Bible declares, God spoke and said, my word shall not come back to me void, but it shall fulfill what I sent it to do. As long as I've spoken it, there has to be a manifestation. It does not matter the hindrance. It does not matter who's fighting. The manifestation has got to be tangible. You see angels being released because the word has got to be tangible. There are people that are here. There are words that were spoken over your life and you have come to a place where you are doubting on God. You do not understand. God will use everything that is on this earth for his word to be manifest. But the problem with many believers is they lack belief. The problem with many believers is that not that they they doubt God, but their problem is that they are not consistent. Oh, you keep on hammering on the word. Abraham was told, you will be a your child. He was 70 years by then. 30 years, the man was still confessing. I will become a father of nations. Reconfessing what God had said. They wondered seeing Sarai at the age of 90 carrying a child. What is happening? He knocked on the doors of heaven and to heaven responded. There is a man called Elisha. The Bible says Elisha was praying for rain to come after three and a half years when rain was silent the first time he sent girls go and check if rain is coming up girls said master nothing is coming up the second time he sent girls nothing is coming up he kept on knocking on the door of heaven the seventh, the seventh time I heard girls declare I see the cloud like a feast of a man I heard girls say it is coming like a mighty rushing wind. Go and tell Ahab, I hear the sound of an abundance of rain. Child of God, what was Elijah trying to say? If you can be persistent, if you can be consistent, there is no way heaven will never, will never reject your request. Many people by now, their life would have changed. But the enemy said, leave them to go to church. 
Lead them to go and pray for an honored prayer. It is their words that will fight them. When they're in the house of God, they are declaring and following the declarations. I am prosperous. I am the beloved of the Lord. I am the anointed of the Lord. The moment they come out of that environment, they are now at home. The enemy will even make sure you are surrounded by negative people that will sow seeds of negativity in you. The moment you confess, you are creating your destiny. You are creating your future. And the enemy begins to ride on the words you have said. Am I communicating to somebody here? I said, am I communicating to somebody here? Moses spoke to the rock. Joshua came to a place when you read your Bible. Joshua came to a place where the Bible says Joshua looked at the sun and Joshua said moon don't move. Sun don't move. And the Bible says the moon stopped. The sun stopped. He spoke to the atmosphere and the atmosphere heard his voice. Why are you a believer and you are seeing nature and it seems like nature cannot respond to your voice. There is a power that God has put in the inside of you. If only you can believe in the power of God. If only you can believe in what God possesses. Am I communicating to somebody here? Somebody shout, I hear, I hear. Somebody shout, I hear, I hear. Somebody shout, I hear, I hear. Oh God, there is power in the word. I said there is power in the word. I said there is power in the word. When you read your Bible in the book of Acts, when you read your Bible in the book of Acts, Acts chapter number 19, Acts chapter number 14, verse 19, the Bible tells us about a man. The Bible tells us about a man called Paul. Let's go to Acts chapter number 9, 14, verse 19. I want us to read on it. The Bible declares... In the books 14, Acts chapter number 14, verse number 19, the Bible declares that it came to a place that Paul was being stoned at the gates of Jerusalem and they thought the man has to die. Can we go there? Are you there, somebody? Are you there, somebody? Oh, God, I love this. Look at this. The Bible declares that but the Jews arrived at Antioch and Iconium, and having won over crowds, they stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city, thinking he was dead. Somebody say, thinking he was dead. Somebody say, thinking he was dead. They took Paul. They stoned him at the gate. They took Paul. They made sure that they damaged him by stones. They took Paul. They ravaged him waiting for him to die. I saw Paul. He's at the gate of Jerusalem. The Paul is at the gate of Jerusalem right there as Paul is sleeping. As Paul is sleeping at the gates of Jerusalem. Everybody thought he was dead. I believe there were doctors there. They tested him. They said this man is gone. But they did not know that Paul had spoken before. When you read your Bible in Philippians 1 verse 21, Paul declared for me to live is Christ, for me to die is gain, but I rather live. He had declared into the future, nobody can kill me. Paul had declared if God be for us, who can be against us? His confession was saying you cannot die cheaply. Amen. Paul said I rather live. To live is Christ, to die is gain, but for me, I rather live. He, 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 he had a choice of whether he wants to die or not. Reaching to a place where you, you are not controlled by your circumstances. You control what happens around you. Amen. For me to live is, is Christ. To die is gain, but I rather live. The Bible says they stoned him. You read it, eh? They left him for the dead. They tested him. They said, this one is gone. Tested his breath. This one is gone. But the man said, I'd rather live. <laughs> there was something in him that was saying, no, you cannot die now. <laughs> you say words and they are hanging in the air. You can't die now. Ah, somebody said, I cannot die small. I cannot die small. Am I communicating to somebody? Amen. When Paul is saying it, it seems as if it's just a word. But wait until you see the manifestation. That's why the Bible declares... That's why the Bible declares that 
in the book of Hebrews 4, verse 16. Let us go unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy to find grace to use in times of need. That is the grace. Where you choose where to use your prayer. <laughs> Am I communicating to somebody? Am I communicating to somebody? I was, I was laughing at the power of words. There is a man of God who was giving a testimony. And he said he went to church and he was preaching. Fire was happening at church. He went back home. And he arrived at home. He saw that clothes at the washing line. All of them are gone. My new clothes, gone. <laughs> ah. The man of God began to ask questions. God, I was preaching fire. Demons were coming out there. I come here. Ah, God, what is this? What kind of persecution is this? You understand what I'm talking about? <laughs> Where there was public victory, but you arrive home, there is private trouble. He said, ah. He said, I prayed a prayer. He said, I said, Lord, every demon I ever casted, let it deal with people that stole these clothes. He said, it was the relatives that came to say we were told that they stole things here. They are mind. Please pray for them in the midst of that case. Words. A case is words. Am I communicating to somebody? Am I communicating to somebody? That's why mothers are told, even when the child is in the womb, speak words. And sometimes if you ask mothers, they will tell how spiritual it is that while they are speaking words, they will feel the child move when they call on the child. And you wonder, how powerful are words? That even something that cannot speak can respond to words. Am I communicating to somebody? I said, am I communicating to somebody? Words are powerful. Many people get to be in a place where they say, hear me. Until you get to a place where you understand spirituality, you never understand the power of words. When you get to a place where God is teaching you and you are growing in spirituality, even your words become calculated. Oh, look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor. Even your words will become calculated. You reach a time where you don't just speak, 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 speak. You calculate your words. Your words will become calculated. Must I say this? No, it's fine. Because every word you release becomes something tangible. And sometimes that's why you see spiritual people will laugh and not even respond because they know Am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. Am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. Let me show you how, how dangerous words are. Let's go to the book of Acts. Acts chapter number 7. Verse 50, 59. Acts 7 verse 59. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Mm. My goodness. From verse 54. Now when they heard these accusations and stood and understood its implication, they were cut to the heart and they began grinding their teeth in rage at him. But he was full of the Holy Ghost and, and led by him, gazed into the heavens and saw glory and a splendor of the majesty of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of the Father. And he looked and said, Lord, I see the heavens open up in Walker, the son of man standing at the right hand. But they shouted with their loud voices and covered their ears and together rushed at him, considering him guilty of blasphemy. And then they drove him out of the city and began to stone him. And the witnesses placed their outer robes at the feet of the young man called Saul. 
You remember so? And they continued stoning Stephen as he called on the Lord and said, Lord Jesus, receive and accept and walk on my spirit. He died because he surrendered his spirit. Paul was stoned like this. They thought he was dead. If I had read on you down, the Bible says he woke up, he washed his face, and he entered Jerusalem again. <laughs> when they saw him, they said, ah! There goes. But the man was standing on his words. There are things that when you refuse, it does not matter who has made that decree. Yeah. It will not happen. Decrees are made, but when it comes to your life, your confession matters. Amen. Ah, you, you didn't hear me well. Amen. I say, decrees are made, cases are released, but when it comes to your life, you carry the authority. Yeah. Oh, the greatest danger of any man is to curse a person who understands how to defend themselves. Yeah. It will not just be the case that will reverse back to you. You have heard what I said. Yeah. <laughs> when a person knows how to defend themselves, you can throw a charm, speak words. When they enter into prayer and they decree, Lord, your Bible declares, no weapon fashioned against me shall prosper. And every tongue that was risen against me in judgment, I'm not rising it in judgment, I'm condemning it. Yeah. You are not hearing. There are ways that David spoke to a man called Ahithophel. David said on Ahithophel, let his counsel become foolishness. Ahithophel was one of the wisest men. The Bible says when he spoke, it was like God speaking. He said, let his counsel become foolishness. Those words were deep in the spirit. That he... Ahithophel came to a place that he was still speaking and people would clap and say, you are speaking sense. But if they apply what he's speaking, it will put people to danger. Because somebody had spoken, your words will become foolishness. There are people that words were spoken in their lives. They went to university, PhD, whatever, and somebody spoke and said, that certificate will become a tissue paper. No matter how it is produced, it brings out nothing. People look at your paper, they say, you are qualified, but until somebody will rise and decree and defend their lives, Lord, I defend my destiny. It cannot remain like this. Lord, I defend my life. It cannot end like this. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There's a scripture that many people have read passing by. But it's one of the powerful scriptures that I love so much. Praise God. Amen. Matthew 15, verse 11. Where Jesus said, it is not what enters that defiles a man. It is what comes out yes. of his mouth. What enters does not defile. It is what comes out. What makes a person to be defiled? What makes a person to be defeated? What makes a person to live an inipushous life? It is what comes out of their mouth. The enemy will try to make sure you don't get to a place where you believe in yourself, where you can hit your chest and pump your chest out. He say, I will not die broke. Hear me and hear me very well. What defiles you? What makes a person to live a defeated life? It is what they say, somebody decree and say, out of my mouth I shall decree prosperity. Out of my mouth I shall decree wealth. Out of my mouth I shall decree greatness. Child of God, until you come to a place, until you come to a position where you understand the reason why you were created, God created you to become not a mini God. God created you to become a God. And the power of God is in his word. The power of God is in what he says. Hear me. I understand you might be a person who might be intellectual. There is no business that can stand in this world without words spoken. 
There is no marriage that can stand without words spoken. Nothing can stand unless a word has been spoken. Am I communicating to somebody here? I said, am I communicating to somebody here? I said, am I communicating to somebody here? I said, am I communicating to somebody here? Unless words are spoken, somebody is going to come to a place where you understand the power in your words. That when you enter into a prayer room, you know that I am a spirit. And while you are speaking your life, you understand this is not speaking. I'm recreating my life. You might have been born in a family where nothing good comes out. But when you come to a place where you become a believer, there is a dimension you will reach where you recreate your life. Am I communicating to some? Somebody here, you might have come from a home, you might have come from a place where they said nobody gets to become greater. But when you enter into prayer, it cannot become. People understood, even in the old, that if there is a man who can speak words, that man is dangerous. When Balaam went to Balak, Balaam said, I want you to kiss the children of Israel that after you speak words, maybe I might defeat them. He understood the power of words. Am I communicating to somebody here? I said, am I communicating to somebody here? I said, am I communicating to somebody here? Elijah arrived where people, there was a famine. People were eating each other's children. And Elijah said, when I come and the Lord sends a man, he will not send a man with economics. He will not send a man with a political degree. He will send a man pregnant with the word. Elijah stood in the palace and Elijah declared tomorrow about this time there shall be barley at the gate there shall be wheat at the gate economists began to ask themselves how shall it be they did not understand once words are spoken an orchestration is beginning in the spirit and angels are already being activated are not angels ministering spirits unto the ends of salvation they act on commands so when Elijah declared and said tomorrow about this time in that particular moment events started to be created in the spirit there is no event that happens without words spoken that's why the bible says god will not do a new thing unless he reveals it to his servants the prophets and those are watchmen once a reviewed word is spoken the prophets will announce it before it happens it will not begin to happen until it is spoken Oh, Yabaraza Kalitaba. Elijah said, Tomorrow about this time, lepers were walking, going to Syria for survival, going to the Syrian army for survival. Yet God was saying, This is their deliverance. The Bible says, Four lepers, their footsteps became the sound of four armies. Their footsteps became the sound of four armies. Four armies. Men that were outcasts that were at the gate, when they came back to the city, they came back to the city as businessmen. Words were spoken. They captured the word. While there are people seated on the table, busy writing, there were men that were there were men that were on top of the city. They were busy. Am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. Amen. Am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. I said, am I communicating to somebody here? Oh, yes. If I'm talking to you, shout, I hear, I hear. I hear, I hear. Shout, I hear, I hear. I hear, I hear. Shout, I hear, I hear. I hear, I hear. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So many people, their life, there is a disadvantage that they are facing in life, a disadvantage they're experiencing in life because they have not yet gone into a place where they've embraced the power of confession. Amen. They've not embraced the power of confession. That is why many people, when it comes to prayer, prayer to them is not something that is a priority because they've not yet understood the power of prayer. Praise God. Praise God. 
Praise God. Amen. Any spiritual man you ever hear, they know the essence of a spoken word. There is no spiritual man who does not understand the essence of spoken words. There is no politician who does not understand the essence of spoken words. There is no shrewd businessman who does not understand the essence of spoken words. There are things that when we say, people will say, ah. No one is seated on any position of power now without words balancing them to remain there. There are words that were spoken that are making that person to stand. It does not matter what men do. You can't shake them. You can't shake them. It does not matter what you touch and where you go. You can't shake them. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And we are entering a season where we are going to see a forecast of what God is going to be doing in the future. And one of the things the Lord spoke to me is, is raising people who have authority in their tongue. Am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. I said, am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. <laughs> For me to live is Christ. For me to die is gain. But I rather live. And you are wondering why your life is what it is. If you can't speak words into your life, someone will speak words into your life. Look at the confessions you've made in your life. Most of them are the prophecies you are living today. So imagine the power of words if you can start from today. Having confessions where you tell yourself you speak to yourself. You speak to your future. Do you know there are certain people because of certain prayers you made, they will never come to a place where they come close to your life. There's a prayer we used to pray. <laughs> Say, oh Lord, anyone who is not supposed to be in my life, remove them. You will be surprised. It will be painful when people leave, but it's your answered prayer. <laughs> when you're praying, you did not know. <laughs> Am I communicating to somebody? Amen. And when people start to leave you, why are these people leaving? I can't pray the prayer. <laughs> Power of words. Unto him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all you can ask or think. So imagine, you carry the Holy Spirit who is the incubator of words. It means now when you begin to understand the aspect of words, your conversations with God, you will not call them prayer. Because they will become conversations. Oh God. You begin to understand the difference on the activities people do in the presence of God. Because it's not everything that when people go, it's everything that we are just doing prayer. Uh -uh. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. <laughs> words. The power of words. The power of words. What makes you to carry an authority? Do you know there's a level you reach that every environment you arrive Nature will announce you. Amen. Nature will announce you. Because of the words you've just spoken to the atmosphere. Have you ever seen people that they will arrive where people are already gathered and people are already known. And that person is new in that place and already they are being given VIP treatment and you're wondering what's happening. Words. Words. Because there has to be a spirit that brings favor. The fear itself, it comes out of words. You will never be afraid of something you never had. Ah, you didn't hear me. You heard that somebody did this and become broke. That's why you are afraid of being broke. You heard it. If you did not hear it, you walk through that place, there will be no effect. Words. 
That's why say, the moment you went to school, if you remember yourself, when you went to school, it was from, from, from that place when you're in primary, they made sure they damage your mind. You are being told things that, that are possible and things that are impossible. That is why you reason and analyze even things of the spirit. In grade one, they'll tell you one plus one equals two. In form one, they'll say minus one plus one. You say two, they say never. <laughs> if you take that thing you learned at form one to grade one, they'll say, what are you talking about? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And already when you look at your life, these are years that were taken. Right now, if you take a person, you tell them, sit in the air. They will tell you it's impossible, it can't. You ask them, why? Because they were told there is force of gravity. So that day, that person who sit in the air, hey, you become a testimony. But you never hear which is testified that, oh, we flew on a broom. <laughs> Do you know why? Because there's no impossibility, it's not a miracle. Is the lifestyle of the spirit. That's why I always tell people, you have to get, you have to, you have to be a person who understands how to calculate their words, your words. Do you know that every situation that comes to you is not the situation, it's the symptom. It is your reaction and your confession that will determine if that thing will be established. That's why there are symptoms before sickness. You have a symptom. You start coughing. You say, I think I'm sick. You establish it. Life of the spirit. Life of the spirit. Somebody will feel that say, never. <laughs> I'm fine. If you read your Bible, the Bible speaks about the Shunammite woman. The Bible says the son died in his hands. The husband said, is it well with you? She said, it is well. When she was going to Elijah, Elisha, when they were at the mountain, Elisha said, Gaya said, go and ask her, is it well? Gaya said, is it well with you? She said, it is well. The child end up, ended up resurrecting because it is well. Imagine if she said the child is dead. When they were saying, Lazarus is dead, Jesus was saying, Lazarus is asleep. It was the condition they confessed that became a reality. Is he dead? Yes, he's dead for how many days? For three days? Yes. No, the man is sleeping. So when he arrived there, he didn't say Lazarus is resurrect. He said, come forth. He didn't say resurrect. He said, come forth. The bandages of death became as if they are blankets. <laughs> Because somebody understood the realm in which they are operating from. Somebody understood the place in which they are operating from. So we have believers that are noisy but be, be, and they don't understand their authority. Noise, noise is not a problem. Understanding why you should be noisy is the problem. I hear what I'm saying. I hear what I'm saying. Yeah. Anyone can hold a gun. Yeah. And anyone can pull the trigger. But it's not everyone who can aim at the enemy. It takes training. Your life can change in a matter of seconds if you understand how to speak. To show you how powerful words are, words have ability to change a person's appearance. Ask any lady who has told her, I love you. What made them to start bathing? <laughs> Two times a day. <laughs> Words were spoken. I hear what I'm saying. Words were spoken. And those words, they carry a spirit. I hear what I'm saying. Those ways they carry a spirit. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. That one just told I love you. 
there is a smile that just comes from knowing. Let someone, if someone will come right now and kiss you, something comes on you heavy like a blanket. It's a spirit that breaks up the word that was spoken. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Are you hearing what I'm saying? So if believers can understand what words are, they will understand when they go to the presence of God. We are going to talk about the message of prayer. Not every prayer is adoration where you are adoring God. Uh -uh. And not every prayer must be directed to God. Oh, there we go. <laughs> not every prayer is directed to God. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. Let me show you the power of words. There are prayers when you speak to God. God will love you. We bless your name. Those are words of adoration. You are loving your maker. Right? They are prayers of creating circumstances. When you want a job and you know the person with a job, how do you pray? You create circumstances. The woman with the issue of blood did not know that she would get to a place where she would touch the hem of the garment. But her prayer, if you read your Bible, she did not pray to God. She created a circumstance on the hem of the garment. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I know you understand it later by the time we explain it in the coming weeks. So people who are spiritual, they understand the power of words. The anders in the power of it. I, I told you of a prayer that, 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 that I was taught by the Holy Spirit. And many of these people, they pray those, that prayer. And people wonder, what makes them to arrive in a place where they are not known? And suddenly they are recognized. Lord, create problems around me that I'm the only solution. I hear what I'm saying. Yesterday, I was, I was praying with someone after the service. After the service, I was praying with someone. And I told them, because they were telling me their financial challenges and my business is not doing one, two, three. I told them, are you at your business now? They said, yes. I said, I want you to come out of your office. Go outside. Step on the ground. Say, I'm serving on the ground, pray for me. I said, now, I want you to begin to speak. When God cursed Cain, he said to Cain, cursed is the ground for your sake. Mm, mm, mm. You are now understanding what I'm saying. Amen. Cursed is the ground for you. Not you, you are not cursed. I want you to understand. God said to Cain, cursed is the ground for your sake. That every time you shall plant on the ground, the ground will not produce its power for you. Amen. If anyone else will come and plant on that ground, it will produce results, but not Cain. So if Cain is to speak words, he has to speak to the ground. Where I am stepping, I command you to produce results. Amen. Amen. I hear what I'm saying. I hear what I'm saying. Amen. So when you, when you understand this, you understand spirituality. Say, but why is God speaking to the ground, not to Cain? Am I going to get into somebody here? Am I going to get into somebody here? Some people, they are busy praying, oh God, my business. God said, no, speak to the business itself. Take out your wallet before you go to work. Speak to the wallet. When I come back, there must be how much in this in this wallet. Speak to it. Let it begin to attract of its kind. Amen. You have to know where to direct your prayers. Hey, there's a topic the Holy Spirit spoke to me this weekend. <laughs> I will come with it. I hear what I'm saying. Know how to speak to circumstances. I hear what I'm saying. When a person is sick. Do you pray to God? Amen. What do you do? 
it's now getting to you. Things that are on this earthly dimension, authority has been given to you as believers to control this world. And God is surprised we are still going back to him. Yet he's saying authority I've given you to control and command things to happen in this world. Why are you not creating your destiny? Hebrews 11 verse 3. By faith we believe that the world was framed by the world. So if you want to reframe the world, the world, what do you do? If it was framed by the world, it can be reframed by the world. Amen. So when you are in prayer over that situation, you are decreeing, Father, I decree this situation in the name of Jesus. I command it to change by the power of the Holy Ghost. I decree and I declare in the name that is above every other name. May there be a transformation. I decree angels that are associated with the ministry of finances right now over this financial situation. What are you doing? You are speaking direct to the issue. And there is going to be empowerment from heaven for that to come to pass. I decree over your life by the power of the Holy Ghost. Whatever situation you've been going through, in the mighty name and the blood of Jesus, may heaven intervene on your matter. I speak by prophecy in the name that is above every other name. You have prayed for that matter. You have fasted for that matter. But I speak authority over your tongue. Every time you shall open up your mouth, may heaven respond to your matter. I said, May heaven back you up. There are people that have been praying. Out has been fighting you. You've been crying to God. God, for how long shall my business be like this? My career be like this? I speak by prophecy in the name that is above every other name. May there be a turnaround. I say, may there be a turnaround. I say, may there be a turnaround. You don't set the dead. God, you serve the mighty God. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same forever. When God says yes, no man can say no. God is on your side. Power is on your side. Favor is on your side. The Bible declares that unto him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, abundantly, Oh, you can ask or think, child of God, you are getting into a place that when you open up your mouth, authority shall back you up. I say, heaven shall back you up. I say, heaven shall back you up. Your words shall carry weight. Your words shall carry weight. Your words shall carry weight. I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost, your words are carrying weight. I say, your words are carrying weight. I say, your words are carrying weight in the name of Jesus. You have been fasting over that business. You have been praying over that marriage in the name and the blood of Jesus. The Lord is answering your prayer. I decree authority over your mouth. I decree authority over your body. I decree authority. Everything you shall declare to it shall manifest. May angels, the ministry of angels open up over your life in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. May the ministry of angels Open up over your life. Mika bubuaka sombreza utana mando katibala. Zowimina ambreza nzua la chambre. Igedibo bahamana kume. Ibros amajela parua. Agagabuaka tomakatua. Lagabarua arus apena. Irus atombalika. Ilagaragadaga yakatua gagarua. Graka kukua makatomanakai. Ebodo kapua. Radumtan e kambri e tua Igalotondo lolo urada Priatandando roro kilara Ribibibidua Aborododododo Irukalamando katega Adua e kalata Ancient altars that were raised in your family They are shaking now Speak to the foundation now They are breaking now Ancient altars 
altars uh, that were raised in your home uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, they are shaking now. They are shaking now. Abodo ancient altars, not anymore. That altar that said nobody shall enjoy marriage, not anymore. That altar that said people shall be sick, not anymore. That altar that hinders men from enjoying finances, I decree let there be prosperity I decree, let there be fruitfulness, I decree let there be happiness, I decree, let there be joy I decree, let there be prosperity, the same way God decreed, the same way God declared, and things manifested, I speak by prophecy, manifest 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 my prosperity. Manifest my miracle. Manifest in the name of Jesus. Ella Kapalata, Prakano La Barata. Anybody who raised their voice, who raised words against your life, against your destiny, I rebuke them now. I denounce them now. In the name and the blood of Jesus, I command every curse spoken over your life. Be reversed, be reversed, be reversed, be reversed, be reversed. Akakakakakaparada, ikababadua, rapopopoya tombala, ebreka tombala katua, ratoke di bodua, radododododo diata, akambaba, 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 ikakakataka yakatai, akapua kato, eladaya, eladaya, eladaya. Ladaya, 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 Ikato Dombara, Rakopa Baba Baba Baba, Raduaka Baba Biato, Ikapalata, Abrekata Badia. In Jesus' name we pray. I speak to your destiny by the power of the Holy Ghost. May the Lord show you grace. I decree and I declare in the name that is above every other name, may favor be your portion. Every part of your life that the enemy had tied, I decree it is being released now. By the power and authority of words, it is being released now. In the name of Jesus, 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 name of Jesus whatever business you are doing, I command doors to begin to open now. I command doors to begin to open open now. I command doors to begin to open now. I command doors to begin to open now. Marriages be released. 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 Wealth be released. Wealth be released. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Be fruitful and multiply. Be fruitful and multiply. Your prayer life shall not be hindered. Your prayer life shall not be hindered. Anybody who shall touch a charm against your life, against your destiny, I decree divine judgment over their life. I decree divine judgment over their life. I decree divine judgment over their life. In the name and the blood of Jesus, I call angel Azaziel judgment over their life. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, may Oreo defend you, may Oreo defend you, may Oreo defend you. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you. You are God and apart from you there is no other. We thank you, Lord, for your word. We thank you, Lord, for touching your people. We thank you, Lord, for your mighty anointing that is bringing transformation. My God, may their tongues be enveloped, empowered, and may it be weighed with the weight of God's glory. Amen. That when they speak, Lord, I thank you, my God, for making things to be tangible. Amen. That when they speak, may angels hear their language of their tongue. In the name of Jesus. The authority you promised on believers, this is time, my God, that I believe the manifestation is now. Believers getting to a place where they will operate in the authority. 
in the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, my God. Do what no man can do and take all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God be with you. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. may God bless you. May God lift you in the name of Jesus. Let me pray for those you are giving your seed, you are giving your tithe, wherever you are online, whatever, let me pray with you. And I believe the Bible says God loves a cheerful giver. As long as your heart is cheerful, give. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Let it be out of your heart as you do it so that God can bless you. The blessing comes when things are done out of their heart. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Don't do it as a duty, but do it because it's coming from the heart. I want to pray with you. And one of the things that I believe we should establish in the coming season is people understanding, is people understanding and having knowledge of the aspect of how God blesses men. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Uh, it was yesterday when the Holy Spirit was speaking to me that the frustration of many men, the frustration of many men is coming to a place where they feel as if they there is no answer to their cries. Sometimes because even when God releases things, because many have not been told how to sense and receive things from the spirit. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying, somebody? Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying, somebody? Amen. So it, 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 sometimes it becomes a futile exercise to be declared, receive your what? Receive your this, but you don't know how to receive. Amen. Uh, is somebody understand what I'm saying? So it has to come to a place where you understand how to receive. So when I get to a place where we get to pray, and I believe that as we pray, one gets to a place where they receive whatever they are believing God for, and God will be shown to be faithful. Thank you, mighty God. We speak blessings. The Bible says, given shall be given back to you. A good measure, praise thou, shaken together. So shall men give to your bosom. Thank you, mighty Lord, for touching and blessing those that are giving in the name and the blood of Jesus. I speak the grace and the anointing of the living God. I decree and I declare, may the season of dryness be over. Season of dryness be over. Amen. Season of dryness be over. Amen. Season of dryness be over. Amen. May your pantries be full. Amen. May your storages be full. Amen. In the name of Jesus, may your storages and pantries have overflow. Amen. In the name and the blood of Jesus. I say season of dryness be over. I decrease season of plenty. I decrease season of multiplication. I decrease season of plenty. I decrease season of multiplication. Receive in the name of Jesus. Receive in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. May the Lord bless you and may the Lord increase you. In Jesus' name. God bless you. God be with you, everybody. I want to pray as we are, as, as even people are giving. If you have not received Jesus, wherever you are, I want you to open up your heart and pray this prayer. And say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Wash me with your precious blood. From today, I refuse you, Satan, and your evil works. Dear Lord Jesus, erase my name from the book of death. And write my name in the book of life. Cleanse me with your blood. I accept being your son. I believe you died and you rose again in Jesus' name. If you have prayed that prayer, welcome to be part of the community of faith. And I believe God that you are going to see God do mighty miracles over your life. I love you all. I'm praying for you in Jesus' name. God bless you. God be with you. See you uh, in the next coming uh, season. That will be the coming month, the coming week that you are entering. And I believe much is in store. God bless you.